Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, the Demon Slayer 33, and all my other channels. I'm drinking a margarita. Finna drink, cause me and my son got into it. But anyway, I know. But when y'all get into it, y'all y'all can't calm me down. Okay, like I can't continue walking in them conditions. Okay. Let me make this quick. If you've been watching my mystery channel, you would know I said I had an extra message for all my channels in the world, okay? This is about schools and kids, y'all. Lord Jesus, I don't know how to explain this. I always explain it to people that's in my house, but I'm going to try to explain this to you all, okay? The reason why schools are closed down because there's a pyramid scheme going on with these damn kids, okay? From pre-K to motherfucking first grade. That's why I tell y'all, these kids ain't dumb like y'all think they dumb. Y'all think these kids just dumb and that they don't do that. Y'all think these kids dumb. You know that? You parents out, you new age parents think these kids dumb and shit. Like, you don't be, y'all be thinking they don't be hearing you. That they don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And all that bullshit. Not the point, though. These kids out here, these kids are something else, okay? Um, I'm talking about kids like from pre-K to motherfucking fifth grade. So, y'all probably be thinking, oh, kids from pre-K to fifth grade, they innocent. I mean, they really not. Okay, they know all they surroundings. They very observant. They little people. They little adults around this bitch, okay? Yeah, they probably know more shit than we do. But anyway, I done found this shit out in late... 2020, like in December, November, with my two motherfucking daughters, Royalty and motherfucking Shay, okay, and now I done found out some other shit from other, from other kids' parents, but from other parent kids, and, and because I'm investigating everyone, okay, and I don't know what to do, so maybe y'all can give me a hint in the motherfucking comments, I'm already talking to the most high and my people about what we should do, to be honest, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like we should show us them. Even my motherfucking kids, you know, it's that damn deep out here. My grandkids and all, it's, it's, it's getting that damn deep out here. Let me drink my margarita. Okay, y'all. So, basically, before I go, to open, I'm going to do that in, in the middle, okay? So the pyramid scheme is it down in three sessions, okay? Maybe four sessions, okay? One of the sessions is the rich girls and the rich boys, Okay? Then the next session is the less fortunate kids, okay? I mean, they might not be less fortunate. I mean, they got a fucking roof on their house. They got a roof, right? They, got, they live in a house, right? So they're not less fortunate, okay? But they ain't got most, like most kids, like the rich kids got. Like, they parents fucking rich. They get this amount of money. They can eat at the snack bar or where the fuck. They come in fresh than a motherfucker. Them kids don't. I'm not saying they ain't fresh. But they probably get their clothes from like a motherfucking boutique or something like City Friends or Walmart or where the fuck you want to call it, okay? And these rich kids be coming to school with Gucci on and Louis Vuitton and shit, okay? I'm talking about the kids that's like middle class, okay? There are some kids that poor as well, okay? I mean, they, I mean, people's definitions of middle class and poor. It's totally different what I think middle class employees and rich is, okay, when it comes to these kids, okay? Rich to me, when you see a rich kid, that means they already got a motherfucking car at the age of 16, okay? They come into school fresh every motherfucking day with Nikes and Jordans. Hell, nice clothes like Louis Vuitton or where the fuck, um, okay? Middle class kids, I would say, and they got a, a big ass house or whatever. They live in a nice neighborhood, they live in the suburbs. Okay, when it comes to the middle class motherfucking kids, they go to motherfucking City Friends or Fashion Nova or Charlie Roos or motherfucking Walmart for their clothes. They go to um shoe department in the mall to get their shoes or some shit. Okay? But they ain't got the car yet, okay? They 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 ride a bus or something. Or they mama come get them or whatever. Or they eat in the regular line in in the cafeteria. Okay? The poor kids the, they they just get their clothes from motherfucking Goodwill or something, or Walmart or something, or they get their shoes from Payless or some shit. They might might 
be in a different class or some shit. I don't know. Or they might. I don't know. These motherfucking kids know who got money, who don't got money, who middle class, who poor, and who motherfucking rich. Okay, that's all I gotta say. So, let me talk to my do- about my daughters, okay? Roy T and Shay. One by Sha- uh, by Wild, the other one by Chris Brown, which is my new man that I got now. Batch, okay? Not the point, though. Let's begin. It's a pyramid scheme that broke into sessions. The rich kids, the middle class, and the poor. Okay? Now, I ain't gonna lie. Okay. So, did the pyramid. I'm gonna go this the, this, the, this the scheme that's going on. And I'm gonna do that little boy that killed my son. Okay? He was never a little boy. He was a grown ass man this whole motherfucking time. That do the do terror readings. His name is Shows and something on there. He was bust into one of them, one of one of her sisters or cousins or whatever. She he was bust into her. Okay, he came out as a child, but he really a fucking man. Okay, a grown ass fucking man. So he can leave his so his grown man body can leave the child body if they if it wants. So the child, this child been going to all schools around the old man. This little boy, he can say shift. He can, he can, he can transport to any motherfucking state, city as he want. Okay, he is in all the school systems. Okay, he in all the school systems. Okay, so with the rich kids. Okay, with all the shit. Okay, they are like the kids gotta have sex. Or they got to have all sex. Or they got to do a hand job. They got to have anal sex to live type shit. Okay. Now, when it comes to the rich kids. Now, I ain't lie. When I look them, they know me. I'm a doctor. So, I shit royalty and Shay. You know. Took them to the doctor. As me. me I, t- I, I, you know. I did a pass there on them. Okay. I found out they were not virgins. Okay. They had sex. Okay. And they had to pay the dude, or the dude paid him, paid them some money. They paid, the dude paid them some money, okay, whatever. The little child, the little man child did, okay. Oh, Lord, how am I explaining this shit? Okay. So, after they do it the first motherfucking time, they gotta, they gotta, they gotta pay the dude amount of money to do it, to give... The money to the middle class and the poor class of kids, okay? So, for example, you know royalty. If you watch royalty and her birthday parties, Chris Brown always throw, and Shay, Bow Wow and Chris Brown always throwing them lavishes ass motherfucking parties, giving them $25,000 bands, okay? You know what I'm saying? I always told they ass, why you wanna give them $25,000? Like, for they self, though. And why T and Shay get money every fucking day? Cause they daddy's just that type. They daddy's just that nigga, you know? They just that nigga. They like to spoil their girls. And they sons or whatever. I don't spoil my kids like that. I made them work, to be honest. I ain't gonna lie. I let my kids work to get my money, okay? Now, unless they're the cute ones. Or that I really fuck with. I give them anything. But man, I really let their ass work, though. They really gotta work to get money, though, to be honest. Or, like, special occasions. But I'm not going to give them no 25 bands, though. If they motherfucking under the age of motherfucking 21. Not a point, though. So, my daughters, they wish they were labeled the rich motherfucking kids. Get they money. And they give this man and whoever the hell he picked to put on his... Whoever the hell he done pick on his team, okay? He get... They, the rich girls... Give the dudes or whatever the money. Let's say they made it. Let's say they give them 25000 right? Okay. The dudes pick out the middle class kids, the poor kids, and the kids that got insecurities. Like one of my daughters. Her eyebrows too damn thick. She came to me talking about, can she get her eyebrows, you know, done or whatever, waxed? And I said, no. Ain't gonna lie to me. I love dark eyebrows. I mean, I love... I love them. I love big eyebrows. I love them deep eyebrows. Cause they remind me of my daddy. I don't really never do mine, to be honest. But I, you know, I will go get a rex. But I'm grown though. But really, when I when I get a rex, I don't want them to be thin. I want them to be. I want them to still be thick. Yes, as me at Toya. The Toya, Toya. Okay. So my daughter, she got thick eyebrows, right? 
ain't gonna lie, I've been noticing the thing, these things, okay? She had been touched, okay? She came to me and like, my eyebrows getting too thick. Can I get an eyebrow raise? And I'm like, no. She like, why? I said, could they remind me of your grandma? I'm your grandpa, okay? And then she wants to wear short skirts and shit, okay? And then she asking me for big money. Like, can I get $20? I'm like, girl, you eat free. Why the fuck you need $20 for? But she doing that because she don't want to get touched. But she done already got touched because I didn't give her the fucking, I didn't, I didn't give her what she asked for type shit. They getting them type of goods. Like, they see, I don't think they put, I don't think they in professions. But the guys do. So they going so to tell the kids, tell the girls, you need this done. Or else, I'm going to touch you. But must, okay, so anyway. So, when they do touch the kids, when they, they either can have sex with the kids, okay, from all, from pre-K to motherfucking fourth grade, okay? Then that even happened to me when I got raped. Not a point, though. Okay, so. So, they can either have sex, give or sex, anal sex, or a hand job, right? Okay. My daughter, she did a hand job. Okay, 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 okay. Anyways. They gonna give the twenty five hundred dollars or however much they asking these witch motherfuckers, they got the money. So once the once the girls, no matter what age they is, from motherfucking pre K through fourth grade, they gonna get a twenty dollar bill, twenty dollars, okay. And I ain't trying to go in my, I ain't trying to go in my prostitute mindset, but twenty dollars, that's it. Out of all these beans, you showing these girls. You just gonna give them twenty dollars, but we're not gonna get into my prostitute mindset, okay? We're gonna get into some real women shit, okay? So, anyways, yes, like literally, I even found one of my son's daughter, and this when I when this when I was on the streets. I went to the park one day to get in the streams because I like to sit in the streams and think about my life, you know, like why the fuck am I on the streets type shit. I got a big ass house. So the thing you know, I seen all these girls lined up in this this area where you can go through or whatever. One girl got done already. My son daughter, which is my granddaughter, was about to give the dude that is one of Michael Keys by one of them thieving ass baby mamas he got. Okay, so that's his son. He that my daughter granddaughter about to give him head till I came through and I crashed the motherfucking party with all the girls. I couldn't crash the other little girl. My bad, I apologize. But I crashed that one, okay? And then she gonna lie and say she lives somewhere else when really she live over here. So when I walked all these girls to their houses, remember I'm on the streets now. So I walked all these little girls, girls to their houses. She lied. Then one day, her grandpa picked me up, you know what I'm saying, with my new man, whatever. She walked in the house, and I said, ooh, you a liar. So I, got, so I told on her, I don't give a fuck. Now, this is really deep right here, okay? This is going to get deeper. Some of these girls are going missing, okay? And these boys know the body. Everybody knows about it from pre-K to motherfucking twelfth grade. They know these girls are going missing. Because the little boy that transformed into, me, to a, into a man... He is saying he walking them home. When really he's not walking them home. He's selling them. He killing them. Okay. That's why I say I'm finna charge these motherfuckers. The boys and the girls. I don't give a fuck. Cause if you know. If you see this, this kid or whatever you think he is. Walking this girl home, then the next day at school she don't show up. There's a problem. You should go ahead and tell your family. Okay, it does not matter if you about to get in trouble. Okay, I'd rather get in trouble than get caught up in some legal shit that I might not can get out of. I don't think y'all can get out of this shit, even my own motherfucking kids. Cause that's dirty motherfucking money right here, little girls. Do you hear me? That's dirty money 
that you give, I don't care, it, it might have been clean when it came off your daddy's and your mama's hand. But when you gave it to that motherfucker, it became dirty motherfucking money. Okay? And I, 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 I don't play when it comes to justice around this bitch. There's a lot of little girls and little boys that are gone. With the same motherfucker that don't push y'all on to this game, to this pyramid scheme. The next day, this next day, the next day, these girls ain't coming to school. And when it, the next day they don't come to school, then when, then when they do come to school, it might not be them. So they probably be like, oh yeah, that's probably why. So I'ma brush it off. Okay. Watch the movie No One Will Tell. It's everybody's responsibilities in this world. To tell if you see some shady shit going on. It is not snitching. You are, like I told y'all, do right by yourself in the most high. Then one little boy told me, well, he said he gonna kill my family then. He gonna kill my family. He gonna, he gonna do this, he gonna do that. Then I went missing. I went missing for six months. Or one of their family members did die or something. Type shit. So some of them did tell or they did pray about it as well. Even when you pray about the situation, people going to go missing. I also heard Shock Dog got something to do with this as well. Okay? But like I told y'all, all you motherfucking kids, if y'all y'all got common sense to suck some dick and give hand jobs out and shit and to ask for 25,000 bands, and to you, y'all asking for that type of shit, you asking for the kind type of clothes. I feel like y'all got coming motherfucking sense to go get help. Okay? At least you have a good worker in the spiritual world, okay? I'm saying, at least you're gonna make it through the raptures, okay? I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't let this slide. Not even with my own motherfucking kids. Cause there's a girls that's gone, y'all. Y'all watch them go missing. But you think everything okay cause they come back. Some of them don't even come back. Some some teachers told me, some principals told me they resigned from school. They might the other they uh, they might be chase shifting into them to live with their parents, but in the schools, they are resigned. They are leaving. I'm confused, so that's why I got school on pause right now. Cause this is what the fuck going on. That man child is gone. He is deceased, okay? I'm hearing she helped them shit. I don't know. We're gonna find out though. But I'm just saying, y'all need to do right by yourselves and by the most high. Okay? Even if you praying. You praying, that's still good, but you still got to tell somebody, though, okay? I know it's hard because you don't know who the fuck's out here. I understand that, too. I understand that, too. I don't know what I want to charge them with. I don't know if I want to charge them with accessory because they witnessed it and ain't said shit. That's accessory. Or you were there. Accessory is when you there with the person doing a crime. And if you are giving, if you are getting... The treatment, you know, if you are getting your dick sucked, you are getting hand jobs, you are having sex with these motherfuckers, you are a, a with these women, my bad, with these girls, you are an accessory. Or well, I'm gonna charge that, charge, I'm gonna, I was thinking about charging them with accessory or m- misconduct, manslaughter, or murder. I don't think it's that deep to charge them with murder, though. But them three is. So I said, everybody in my comments, y'all tell me what I should do with my most high, me and the people. My my peoples should do about this shit motherfucking ration because this shit is serious. This shit is deep out here. And I don't play by that shit. Okay? I got P, y'all. Okay, I'm done. Gonna go pee, okay? Peace. Do the right thing, y'all.